Hi everyone, this is just going to be a quick overview of the Nexus 7 I have mounted on the dash of my 2006 Subaru Impreza Sport. Uh, so hardware wise, it's a 2013 Nexus 7, 32 gigabytes with LTE. Um, I think the LTE and the 32 gigabytes was a worthy upgrade. You can get this for about $250 used on Amazon. And that's about the same price you're looking for a decent head unit. And this obviously has a whole lot more functionality than a head unit. So the the 32 gigabyte LTE might seem like a lot, but I think it's it's worth the price. Um, as for hardware uh, behind the dash that you can't see, I have a um, uh, wired audio goes from here to a rocket. Um, headphone and microphone splitter. The speaker then goes to the uh, head unit and the microphone then uh, goes up to an Olympus noise cancelling microphone I've mounted on my visor. And I've gone with wired audio because I just found that Bluetooth audio, the voice commands didn't work very well. Um, and then there's also always the little bit of lag with Bluetooth audio. So um, I really like the wired audio. For power, I have an OTG cable over here that goes to a RAV Power uh, cigarette adapter, 2.1 amp cigarette adapter. Um, the The commute we do in this car is only about 10-15 minutes a day, so it's not running very long, so that's not quite enough to keep the tablet charged. So I opted to mount it in this Case 1 um, sorry, uh, Caseology One Touch mount, uh, which makes it very easy to, to take in and out of the car, and I'll basically charge it on the weekend, and that'll be good for the week. Um, so that's about it for hardware. For software, I'm running the stock Android ROM, um, KitKat 4.4.4, I think. Um, the stock ROM does everything I need. Um, some people will do um, uh, Cyanogen mod and that works quite well. For the kernel I'm using Elemental X because I really wanted the uh, fast charging option. Uh, Teamers ROM and I believe it's Auto Android or Auto Droid are also very good ROMs and kernels. Uh, they're built especially for uh, dash mounted tablets so they have some good optimizations for that. Um, for the launcher I've paid for um, Nova Prime which lets me customize a fair amount of things. I was able to get rid of the parts of the screen that I didn't really want, so you'll see there's no app drawer icons, uh, there's no Google search bar, uh, and I was able to customize these transitions the way I wanted. Um, Nova Prime was, was a, really good, uh, a really good launcher for this, and I think it's worth it to, uh, to pay for it. Uh, to get these big chunky icons, which I think is also important when you've got something mounted on your dash, I'm using an application called Desktop Visualizer. And that will let me select an icon. And I'm using the uh, ALOS icon pack from the App Store. So I can pick an icon. And then I pick an app or an action I want to launch. And then that gets added to my desktop as a widget. And then I can basically move and resize it uh, as I need to so I've like making them large and chunky like this and then I've just opted for a couple screens of applications so some of the stuff I have installed um, I listen to a lot of podcasts and I use the beta releases of um, Beyond Pod for that um, they're working on um, their car UI quite a bit so these buttons are are fairly big fairly easy to press you can also like tap in the big area up here um, and it's just uh, I, th I think they're trying to get it uh, to work very well in a, a car environment so um, I like beyond pod for podcasts for music I've uploaded all my mp3s to um, Google Play music so they're all in here, and I don't have to worry about adding extra storage to this. Um, if Google Play Music has to stream my MP3, it will. 
if I want to pick some songs that I specifically want to download to the tablet, I can do that as well. But, so Google Play Music works really well. If you want for $10 a month, you can upgrade to Google Play Music All Access, which gives you unlimited streaming access to all the music that Google has available, so something in the millions of songs. Um, I like Songza for uh, streaming playlists. Um, they're actually human-curated playlists as opposed to um, automatically generated through Pandora. So you get some really good playlists where people have actually put some thought into how this playlist should go together. And Google has actually bought them, so now if you go into Google Play Music, you'll actually see songs integration, and you'll get some really good playlists in there. I have a button here for voice commands, um, so I can do things like, where's the nearest Home Depot? So I have a button to do that, um, but with the newer versions of Android, I can also use the uh, the voice command even while music is playing. So even though music is playing and it can be playing fairly loud, I can still say, "Okay, Google, what time does Home Depot open today?" And even though music was was playing, it still hurt me say. Okay, Google, what time does Home Depot open? The Home Depot is open until 9 p.m. And then it goes back to playing music. So that works fairly well. Um, so that launches the navigation app. Um, this is a shortcut. I've set it up to my home address, so if, no matter where I am, if I click that, it will automatically start a navigation route back to home. Um, I use TuneIn to get uh, local FM channels. I couldn't find a good way of integrating it with the FM tuner in my head unit. Um, so TuneIn works pretty well. They have, a, they have a specific car UI with some bigger buttons um, and a bit of a dimmer screen if you want. And it works quite well for getting... FM channels. On the next page I've got Audio Glow, which is a, uh, Audio Glow is a nice visualizer. If you just want something to look at while you're driving, you get this. It also has built-in commands for controlling the music, as well as gestures. So it's a really nice way of controlling, controlling music, um, especially on a longer car trip. You can just have that running. I have the Twit podcast app, this is Radio Scanner. It will show you the fire, ambulance, police scanners in your area, so you can listen to that kind of thing. Uh, I have Yelp, which isn't really car optimized, but if you're sitting there parked, it's a really good way of uh, finding restaurants and stores in your area. Again, I have Audible, but it's also not very uh, optimized for the car. Uh, it works, but you shouldn't need to be in there uh, that often, so once you start playing your audiobook, you're fine. Uh, to go with the OBD2 Bluetooth adapter I got on Amazon is just a generic one for 10 bucks. I have a dash command. This is running in demo mode. It will connect via Bluetooth to that uh, OBD2 adapter plugged into your car um, and give you things like your speedometer, your fuel levels, your engine temperatures. Um, it will give you like a skid pad and show you the G-forces on your car and things like that. Um, I haven't used it that much for that. I have used it for it can read your check engine light codes so you can get a rough idea of what's happening with your car and it's really handy for that. Uh, for integrating with my phone, I've tried Tablet Talk. I haven't had a lot of luck with it. Um, it will Bluetooth connect to your phone and, and try to show you who's calling and the dial pad up on the screen. Um, what I think I might start using a bit more is Google Hangouts has just released Hangouts Dialer, which uh, lets you integrate your Google Voice number into Hangouts and make voice calls and, and send messages that way. Um, so I think that might be the way to go um, in the future for, for using your phone with this. 
my head unit is a Bluetooth head unit, so it actually talks to my phone, and that tends to be what I use more often. Um, other apps. If you guys see any of these and you would like uh, more info or would like to know what I use it for, just leave a message in the comments and uh, I'll try to answer. Um, I use GMD gesture controls for custom gestures. You can see them here. I've got two finger swipe to go home, two finger swipe back to go back, um, two finger circle to play pause. So see, this is a really nice way to not have to be paying attention to your screen while you're driving. Now, it you'll see that it is doing stuff at the same time, um, but usually that's not an issue. So GMD gesture controls uh, is really good for this kind of dash setup. I also use Lux Dash, which will automatically dim the screen at night, so uh, it's less distracting but it can increase the brightness during the day um, so you can actually read it in the daylight. Uh, Media Utilities is just a utility app that's uh, uh, very good at controlling the music system wide. Um, what else do we have here? Um, Exposed is a very handy app. Uh, this is a rooted tablet and Exposed will give you um, options that you would normally need a kernel, a custom kernel for, it will give you a lot of customization um, options. Uh, so Exposed is definitely worth looking into. Um, the other thing I use a fair amount is Tasker. I use this to control what happens when I turn the car on and off. So I have a profile when the audio is plugged in and the power is charging and knows the car is running, so it'll run my car on task when the headphone is plugged in but it's not charging and knows the car is off. So it will run the car off task. And they're fairly basic tasks. Basically I use the secure settings plugin for Tasker to turn up the volume and start playing the music when the car starts. And when the car stops um, I use that media utilities application to again pause the music and lock the tablet to turn the screen off. So if I turn the car off you'll see this happen. So it goes to sleep um, fairly quickly after I put the car, uh, after I turn the car off, and if I turn the car on again, it'll start up, and the music should start playing from where we left off. Uh, the other app that is very handy is this one called Commander. It adds a lot of extra voice commands. To Google Voice and it integrates um, with the voice actions so I can say okay Google volume 0% and even though that's not a, a, a built-in uh, Google Voice action commander takes over um, oh I think I was talking okay Google volume 50 percent and you'll see it set the volume even though that's not a built-in command uh, commander has added that ability uh, so that's another very handy app uh, the one other thing that I have which I like is I've added a clock um, so if you go into settings and then your daydream settings I have this modern hollow daydream. Um, uh, so what happens when the tablet is just sitting here um, for 90 seconds or so, it automatically starts this clock, which is very non-distracting. It means your buttons aren't up. Um, there's not a whole lot going on on the screen. It's just a clock. It's easy to see, uh, and you're far less tempted to, to touch anything while you're driving, which is very important. So that's basically an overview of this. If you have any questions or you're curious about any of these apps, um, leave a comment down below and uh, I'll try and answer some questions. Thanks a lot.